warmed up some now, but this morning was five below zero, and you got to have a fire. Casey May called here a little bit ago. I was telling him I was getting some gasoline to start this fire. I think he thought I was joking. So is that real smart to do? Nope. But by golly it works if you're careful. Oh, I know a lot of folks will think I'm crazy and stupid for doing that, and you're probably right, but just remember, heel Billy. All right, so I'll show you what I've got done here, which isn't terribly impressive, but I'm gaining slowly but surely. It's awful dark, maybe you can't see it. Uh, I drilled holes in this lower frame, and I put these rollers in, front and back, Today I need to shoot. I forgot my battery. I gotta go back to the house. Today I need to drill holes and put these three axles in. Uh, what the deal is, is those those wheels have to run in between these drive lugs. They're rubber drive lugs. Those uh, roller skate wheels I was gonna use. They're too wide. They don't fit in between. I probably could have taken them to a belt sander and made them a little thinner or something. But these are actual snowmobile wheels. They should work better. Well, anyway, that's where I'm at for now. Well, this thing's coming along pretty well. I think the, uh, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> there's a noon whistle in town. Uh, I think the deck part should be pretty easy to do. This was the hardest part. I still have to cut some little spacers right here on all these to make sure that the the wheels don't do this on me. But they run into this into these drive lugs just about right. So hopefully hopefully they'll stay on. Not real sure I'm crazy about that green color, but that was the paint we had, so what the heck, it's green. Those skids that were uh, on the old snowmobile that this ran on, I was able to get them off, and I think on the top of this one, if I put them up underneath here, like so, that would keep that from rubbing. Now on this end, it's supported pretty good. It's off of the pretty far off the frame because of the wheels here but on this end it tapers back and it would rub and these uh, these cleats here it would be metal on metal and I don't really want that so I might still put a roller wheel up under here somehow lift that up a little bit but without any pressure on them I think these plastic things would work really pretty well and all the pressure will be down onto those wheels, so there shouldn't be a lot of uh, a lot of grinding on it. Well, we'll see. A little bit further along all the time, I got the the front bearing done. That was a little bit tricky to get uh, on there straight and the right height for the deck. 
This deck used to be a uh, bicycle rack that I got from a second hand store. It's a little too short. I'm going to have to piece in the piece in the middle. This side had a uh, bearing retainer that I had to fit and it didn't come out quite in the right spot but it should it'll work okay I got uh, these side rails here I'm gonna bolt it to now it might be a little bit tricky to hit that but I think it'll be okay might end up if nothing else I can always weld a little piece on the bottom of that and add to it um, these cross pieces they're resting on another piece that I, I welded in and bolted on um, <laughs> I made them too short so I put had to put an extension on there but all in all it's coming together a little bit at a time <laughs> 